morning youtube i am shanika lawrence i just wanted to come to you guys with a quick word for this morning to encourage everyone who may have been experiencing any kind of bereavement in your families or if you have lost loved ones also an, an admonishment to parents especially parents who you know are sending their kids to school every single day now we're heading towards the end of the school year some schools are already out and they're done with school however i know like my child he's still in school so they'll be out in the next couple of days and you know when i think about what just took place recently in texas it is so devastating i mean it's so heartbreaking to see um, just the senseless violence that has taken place throughout America. And we know that it's nothing but the enemy trying to discourage the people of God, discourage um, those that are living in truth. He is trying his very best to win this war that he knows he's going to lose. And if he can take, you know, the lives of those that are close to us, then he feels that he has won, but he will not win. He has lost the war already. The victory is ours because of Jesus Christ who has died on the cross for our sins and has already won the victory. Amen. Amen. But I just want to encourage the parents today just to remember to continuously keep your children in prayer. This is so important. You know, back in 1962, I think this is when they declared that praying in schools was going against the First Amendment. So they took it upon themselves to take out prayer in school. And from that point, there are a plethora of research articles that go into detail about the changes that we have seen over time throughout the generations within our world ever since they took prayers out of school. This is why it's important that our prayer begins at home. take the prayer out of the schools but they cannot take the prayer out of the home the home is where it begins we have to remember as parents to continue to train our children up in the way that they should go and when they get older they will not depart that is proverbs 22 and 6 that is a promise from the lord train up your child in the way that they should go and that may look like you taking your child into prayer with you, teaching them how to pray, praying for them, covering them before they go to school, before they leave your presence. If you're leaving them in the, in, you know, in the care of a babysitter or wherever they're going, you just want to continue to, to put the blood of Jesus over these babies' lives wherever they go. You know, the Bible also says in, in Proverbs 11 and 21, I believe that the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous, they shall be delivered. And that is that is also a promise from God that says that, you know, those things that we see that take place in our world, we can be assured that God is going to deliver our children, our babies, if we continue to train them up. And if we continue to, to teach them in the right ways that they should go, then they will be delivered because they are the seed of the righteous. And we believe that today. So I just want to encourage you guys today to continue to pray for your children. Continue to speak words of encouragement to your children. Continue to give them love and care and affection. Sometimes kids are missing out on those things. And because they're missing out on those things at home, they go to different places to try to seek them out. The two shooters of the latest mass shootings, they were both still in their teens. So it goes without saying that in some in some case, and we're not blaming the parents, but in some case that they started to get into, you know, the wrong things. And we don't really know what kind of things caused them to get into those situations. But sometimes, especially with 18 years old, 15, 16 year old, they're not grown yet. They still need the rod of correction to, you know, correct them. They still need good encouragement. They still need affection. They still need love. They still need these open conversations. They still need to have times of prayer in the home. This is what the children need so that when they get older, they will not depart from it. So that when they see the evil things that are going on around them, that they will not join those cliques, that they will not be a part of those people that are trying to stray them away from doing what they know is right. This is why we have to continue to 
pray and we're going to continue to pray this morning we're praying for the families and um, the people that have been affected by these evil mass shootings that have been taking place and we're just going to continue to keep praying Pray for your children. Tell them that God loves them. Show them your love and affection. And guys, just remember, God truly sees each and every one of us. He is a God of justice. He is a just God. He will avenge the evil that has been taking place in the world. But it just makes me so frustrated because the enemy, you know, like they say, the enemy is busy. But we got to continue to be busy also. We got to continue to be busy in the word. We got to continue to be busy in prayer. Continue to be busy in fasting because there are a lot of spiritual things that are going on these days and the only way that we're going to be able to fight it because the bible says in matthew 12 jesus said this kind this kind comes out by prayer and fasting and there are some things that are not going to leave our streets that are not going to leave these territories that are not going to leave our loved ones until we begin to pray and fast until we begin to come against these things in the spiritual realm. This is how it's going to take place. So be encouraged today. Continue to pray over your children today. Stay comforted. Stay under the wing, the mighty wing of the Lord. And he will cover you. He will keep you. And he will continue to protect you and your family. So God bless each and every one of you. And continue to just stay connected. Because we're going to continue, continue to build faith. We're going to continue to build trust in God. And I believe that this is really going to help our community community today because we know that what the enemy has tried to do he is not strong enough he is not powerful enough he is not more powerful than our great and mighty God so let me just encourage you today to just continue to push and to continue to work towards all that God has created for you to do in this season all right guys I love you guys so much I will see you guys very soon in the next video bye